Hi folks, it's Philip Andrews here introducing some brand new ways in Photoshop Elements 9 to create calendars and cards. I'm inside the organizer space, I've got a bunch of images here that I've selected which I've already enhanced, so I've done some editing here changing the colors and the sharpness and the tone so that they're all in pretty good shape ready to go into our photo projects. The first thing I need to do is go over to the create pane and you'll see there's a list of photo projects that we have here including greeting card and the other one we want to look at today which is the photo calendar as well. So first of all I'm going to go and select several images to include in the greeting card itself and then go across to the greeting card option and just click there. You'll notice that the main editor space opens and we get a new dialog pop up just inside the editor space and it's the greeting card dialog. It's broken into three sections. On the left hand side we have the options for selecting sizes in the middle, themes or designs and then a preview of that theme or design on the right hand side. Notice that the sizes are broken into two different sections. Here we have Kodak Gallery and also Shutterfly. Now depending on where you are in the world you might have different options available here. These are companies or third parties who provide the ability to upload your completed project online on the net and then have them printed and sent back to you. But just note down the bottom here, this is very important. Any of the designs that you make in the system, you can print on your very own printer as well. So don't let the fact that the sizes are listed under commercial companies here put you off making a card that you can then print locally. I'm going to go and select this one here, 5 by 7 inches, folded and portrait. Automatically we see on the right hand side a preview of what it will look like and we have the option in the center to choose a different style. Notice that some of these styles have a yellow band or a gold band across the top right hand corner. This indicates that you can download this particular style if you're a Plus member. Here we're just going to select the colorful option and we get a preview of that, four images on the front and then a couple inside. Once we're happy with that, I've also selected the Auto Fill with Selected Images option that you can see in the bottom left hand, and I'll just go click OK to get Photoshop Elements to go and create that card for me. So there we have it. The card's created, and the editor space is placed into a particular mode that we can use for editing the card. See over on the right hand side we have a pages option which enables us to see the pages on the inside of the card itself. If we select the inside thumbnail that you can see here you'll see a preview of the pages in the main workspace. If we select front you will see the front of the card on in the workspace as well. We then also have layouts and the layouts themselves enable us to change the way in which the images are actually placed on the page. So if I double click on this layout here then it will change the way in which the images have been displayed on the page. I can go back to the one that I had before by just selecting the one above. We also have options for artwork and if you notice here we've got different frames, backgrounds and graphics that we can add to our pictures and it's a very easy matter then of just selecting one of those, dragging it across or dropping it to place it onto our design. And finally we have the text option and in this option we can actually add text to our card or modify text that's already there. So for instance if we go over to the pages option, go to inside, and you see we've got some text here, we'll need to go over to the text mode and then select the text that we want to change and we might put in happy holidays as our text there we can go select the text underneath that as well if we want and put some extra text in there other extra text that will add in there as well now the one underneath is in paragraph mode and we can put tons of text in there for our greetings if we want just go up to the options bar then and click on the green commit tick button to add that text in. And that's pretty much our card completed and done. We then have the ability to click done to save off that card. Yes, we want to save it and we'll call it greetings card. Number one. And notice that the project is saved in a PSE format. 
which is a photo project format for Photoshop Elements. So that's now saved and added to our Organizer workspace. So if we go back to Organizer now and we show all, you'll see that our card is listed in the top left of the main Organizer. And if we want to edit that card again, we just right click and just go down to Edit with Photoshop Elements. It'll open up the project inside our editor and enable us to make adjustments to the project. You will see down in the bottom left hand corner we have this switch to advanced mode button as well. If you want to do some more sophisticated editing of the actual design then clicking this button will provide you with access to the full uh, toolbar that you can see here for the main editor space and also the layers panel that you can see on the right hand side. This will enable you to edit each of the individual layers that go together to form this composition. So for instance if we wanted to edit this picture here we could go and select that layer, double click on it and then we could adjust the size of the picture where it's positioned within the frame, click on the green commit we could then go across to the other layer, we'll just click on auto select layer, double click and make that smaller too so we get to see more of the lavender, green tick again now onto the poppies, again reduce that in size, a bit more information to the cheese layer and you can see that the actual layers are being selected over in the layers panel as well. So we get more control and more information about how the composition is actually put together. Once we're happy with all of the design as well as clicking done which saves the project we can also click print which prints the project and there's a brand new way to print and we'll be covering this in a separate video tutorial because it's quite extensive and provides a lot of different options for us and we also have the ability to order the finished composition online so if I just click order and click OK then the project is prepared for being uploaded online and we're taken through to the third party provider who is capable of printing our project and then sending it back to you now each of these providers require you to sign into the site and become a member before you can place an order. Let's just go and have a look at how the new calendar project works as well now. So we're back in the organizer space. Now I have 12 images actually selected, one for each month. And I'm going to go to the create panel and go down and select photo calendar. Again the editor space opens up and we have a pop-up dialog in the center of the editor space with the size listed on the left hand side, the style or the theme in the middle and a preview on the right hand side. We also have an added option that wasn't available with the greeting card project where we can select the actual month that we're going to start the calendar with. I'm going to start mine for from January 2012 and we can then choose between printing locally or selecting an online provider. I'm going to choose print locally and go and select colourful again as my option. We get a preview on the right hand side. Make sure that auto fill with selected images is also selected and then just click OK. Elements goes off and builds the calendar for us and then we'll open it up in the special calendar editing space. And just as before we have a panel on the right hand side where we can look at pages, layout, artwork and text. We have a preview in the center. We can select any of the calendar pages on the right hand side. And down at the bottom we only have two buttons this time, one for done to save off the project and one for print to actually print the project as well. We can also move through each of the pages by just selecting one of the buttons at the bottom underneath the actual preview space as well. So that's a quick introduction to both the greeting cards and the calendar photo projects that are available in Photoshop Elements 9.